Hey, it's Steve Tool Guy. Thanks for coming out to this video. Uh, I want to show you how to use the email power system version 2. I decided to create a powerful software to update my previous email power system to something that's more robust, more powerful, and simple to use. Okay, this software is designed to upload your, actually you can input your, your list, upload your list that you have, your email list. Also it will rotate SMTPs. Uh, you can create messages. All right, you can send your email, you can unsubscribe, you can track your unsubscribers, you can track your openers, you can track your clickers, and also you can send out an auto response to your openers and clickers. Okay? You can export your unsubscribers, you can export your openers, you can export your clickers. You can do a lot with this software and it's simple to use. So I'm going to show you how to use it. Once you get your download and your email, you can download it and also you can log in. You will get a password as well. So I'm going to log in and show you how to use it. Once you open up the software, you'll see a lot more tools in my tool shed that you can purchase. This tool shed will be updated pretty often, at least once a month. So always check your software for more softwares. This is where you're going to upload your list. You can remove you can clear your list, you can import, you can remove duplicates, and you can save your list. So what we're going to do, we're going to import a list. Let's go find a list. Okay. clear it. I had to clear it because it would all it already chose my previous list so I had to clear it so let's go import it again. Alright, remove duplicates if there are any duplicates. That's not found. Go ahead and save it. And we're going to rename it so we can actually now when you save it it's going to save to the folder that you downloaded in so you can always look for that folder so your list will always be kept in the email power system version 2 folder you'll see it once you download it okay you, you don't want to download it anywhere else you just want to keep it here and download it here and let's just call it good list recipients have been saved you can click OK and then you see it right here alright next we're going to upload the SMTP I already have two we're going to upload another one. Actually, we're going to delete one. So we have to do that. All right, you're going to
HTTP has been saved. You'll see it load down here after you click OK. There you go. SMTP. Notice I have a SDGAR. AR stands for auto response. Let's click on that. I named the auto responder SDGAR. I named it Steve Tuga. Then I'm using it. If you can see this, you can see that Steve Tuga at gmail.com. I'm using a Gmail for my auto responder. So that's how powerful this software is. You can use an auto you can use a Gmail for your autoresponder. So if you send a message from a SMTP, you can set an autoresponder from your Gmail account. And you put your server smtp.gmail.com, your user ID, which is the two guy at gmail.com, whatever Gmail account you want to use, and put your password, test connection, save, and voila. You can keep on adding more SMTPs with this button here. Okay? Message. I already have some messages saved. So let's look at what they are. I'm, one of them is my marketing. This is a marketing email message. As you can see, I have it already preset. You want to name your message so you can identified with the list of messages that you will have down here okay once you do that once you're going to type in your your message make sure you click use html all right and you want to make sure you click unsubscribe link when you put a link in there i recommend you put your unsubscribe link in there and if you want to add a promotional link put your your website or your blog right here okay all right now this one I have a marketing to AR so the reason why I call it AR is because it's auto response so I can distinguish it between the two okay so I already have messages here, but this is how you want to load your message. You want to name your message. Make sure you can distinguish it from the rest of the messages you have down here. Put your message body. Make sure you click on HTML format. Make sure you click your unsubscribe link. It's going to automatically embed it. Unsubscribe me from this list link, which is very important. And also, you want to put your promotional link in there. Or well, you may not want to put a promotional link in there. I recommend that you can do either one. Okay. This is where you're going to send your message. So, you click this message here. Remember, we named it so you know how to identify it. So, I'm going to use this one. This is my SMTP I'm going to use to send the message. Recipients. So it will be a drop down of the list of recipients you have. All right. Then you want to type in, now remember your message that you created and you named it. Okay. There you go. And you put your nice subject in here. subject line now right here you want to put send email every 60 seconds I like to send an email like every three minutes so it's in seconds so that's 180 seconds okay you can send one every 60 seconds but if you want a good delivery you want the slower the better okay send an email every three minutes or 180 seconds after now this phrase says after blank emails pause for such and such seconds so this is a new a unique feature to help give you some variety when you send out emails so after every 
three emails. I'm going to pause for 30 seconds. So I'm going to send a message every three, every three minutes, 180 seconds. After every three emails, I'm going to pause for 30 seconds to give a little variety with my sending. Okay. Next, you just go to start. And as you can see, it's about to start sending a message to the four or five recipients that I have, okay? Now, let's go. This is where your unsubscribe list will be. This is where your openers will be. This is where your clickers will be. So you will track everything that your recipients do. Okay, let's set up an auto response. Okay, we're going to stop that. Okay. I'm sending an auto response from my Gmail account that I created, which is already labeled so I can recognize it. My message, I'm going to send them an auto respond to message, which I'm able to distinguish it because I named it. Marketing tools, auto respond to test. And my subject, I'm just putting something in there and now when I send out a I can send out a auto response to all my openers and clickers I may want to do that every three minutes after three pause for about 30 seconds okay Good pace and start. You don't have to start it yet because you haven't have any openers or clickers yet. So I already sent out an email. Okay. And we can see if he opened it yet. Nope, he haven't opened it yet. You see? So once you get the email and you open it, it will show up here. And then once you start to get some openers you come to your autoresponder and start it then you'll start sending emails to your openers and your clickers sweet software but this is a quick video showing you how this software work stay tuned for more videos I hope you saw the video before this one to know how to download your video but please subscribe to this channel if you find this video on YouTube, look below the video, purchase the software. If you find this on our support blog, uh, ask questions in the comment section. We have support 24-7 on the blog, so dig into the blog. Watch all the videos on this blog. Ask questions on the blog. Don't be shy. You know, this is what this blog is for. This is what this video is for. So, hope you take action. See you on the other side. And also, don't forget to subscribe, to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification button for more videos and upcoming software.